So what do you do above and beyond to create the best consumer experience to help them buy a house less hassle, in, buy it in less time because lots of people don't like to drive around and look at a lot of houses or find the best house for the best deal. Any of those? All right. Any of those. Yeah. So, man, I'm nervous because I got to answer this one correct, right? So, uh, yeah. so we, we uh, luckily, you know, we have a company that has great tools. We have all the apps. I mean, you know, you can jump on and just hold your phone up on a street. You can see all the stuff. I mean, we all have that now. So all of that's good. Uh, but what I love the most about our team is, we're so big in our area and we have so much influence and, and agents that have, you know, a reach of two to 500 people, each one of them, that so many times we know of a house coming on the market prior to anybody else knowing about it. So yeah, if you're, we're talking. If you're within our buyer group, not only are you getting the stuff that pops up on MLS, now you're getting an inside look at 75 agents and all their circle of influence and what might be on the market soon right um, absolutely the, the okay so i have a question i i love that which i want to dig on that a little bit so when somebody on your team has knows of a house that's coming to the market how do they share that with the other team members right so we have a daily list uh that comes out um, and our marketing uh, director puts that together and it'll show everything listed for the day it'll show any price changes anything that went to ending or backup and then it'll say buyer needs and it'll have agents saying, Hey, I need a house on three acres for $300,000 in this location or whatever. So it'll have the buyer needs and then it'll have upcoming listings. Um, and so we'll have a whole list of stuff that's coming on the market, you know, in the near future. So, How many so listings do you carry regularly? Um, I think right now, we have uh, 258 ish. So not many. <laughs> 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 yeah. they, must okay. not under, they must not be under 250. Yes, yeah, right. Those ones yeah, sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So much of that is new construction. So we have a ton of inventory and new construction. So we always carry a big because we can, if one sells, we can just list another one that's starting foundation. Right. So it's right? 200 of those new construction? No. Oh man, I don't know that exact number. I should know that number, but uh, that's probably probably in line. Okay. Our, our resale turnover pretty, you know, pretty quickly. Right. All right. So then, I mean, because we have a some just to well, a little bit more about the coming soon is sometimes what I find it a challenge from the team management level is how to take all the opportunities that we know about from our team members and have that accessible in a centralized database so that when Fred has a buyer that's looking for the three plus acres. They can go see that uh, Janice put her client in that database three weeks ago that has a house that he wants to sell. I didn't know if you used We were hoping you had a tool. Yeah, I'm looking for <laughs> we're, a tool. We're looking for the tool. Oh, man. Uh, we, we don't. We still do. We still do a daily report. And it's, it's just like we, we think about it. Is it Excel spreadsheet or a Google sheet? <laughs> um, she does. Well, what is Either it? one. Okay, good deal. That it gets email. emailed. That gets emailed to your agents. Is that right? On now, do the buyers basis. have to yep, sign a document okay. to see sure. that list? Um, no. So we don't show the buyer in that list. That would just be two agents getting together saying, "Hey, I have a buyer for this, possibly." Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is, um, I, I personally uh, flip about maybe ten homes a year as well. So um, we have so many times where people will say, I want a resale house, but I don't want something that I have to fix up, right? I want right. it to no. be. Like said, well, that's where I was good. going with the move-in ready. Everybody wants move-in ready. Like it's the hottest thing out there. Everybody. So we have so many flips where I'll just be like, oh, I've got that one coming up and brand new granite, brand new hardwoods, brand new windows, like, and, and they don't even hit the market. Right. You know, so uh, we'll, we'll sell those. Move in of, ready. Boom. So, so if you're part of our buyer group, you know, no, you're not, you're not seeing that if you're not a buyer with our team. Two Without unlisted home strategies is what I just heard. So the way that you help the buyers is by finding houses uh, that they can't we're, we're find trying to, We're trying to put you in a category. So you came up with two. Right. 
Well, because right now, let's be honest, the unlisted home is the highest, you know. Now, do you have Zillow where you live? Right, we do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just We're second, do you have open door? And do you have open me. door? Uh, we don't use open door. Offer pad? I buyers. What about knock? Nope. Not, I mean, you they better not be yet. Some... You better strap on your boots because they're gonna, they're gonna <laughs> knock your shit off. Thank you for listening. Now more than ever, it is important to put the consumer first. Check us out on all major streaming platforms like SoundCloud, iTunes, Player FM, Google Play, and Stitcher. Information about one-on-one -on -one coaching or solution events, text 480-530-7972.